we're good to go. Let's put the stopwatch on this time so I can actually work out how long we're going for. Right. Fabulous. Very fabulous. I wonder why. Very Something's fabulous. different about you today. Mm. You got an extra earring in. Um, no. No? Uh, you're not wearing socks. That's unusual. Is unusual. But no, that's not right. No? no. Um, you've got hot chocolate in your mug. Yes! Rather than, ah, <laughs> I knew it. Right, shall we, shall we clink? Hello! Hello! Good morning, Good. everyone. Good morning. Yeah. Get your own. Do you want to do that again? Yeah. <laughs> Hello! Hello. Hello there. How's it going? I was waiting for you to say good morning. Good morning! <laughs> <sighs> do you want to do that one again? No, it's fine. That'll okay. do. Hooray! We got there. We did. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Are you feeling good? Are you sitting comfortably? Because buckle yourselves in, people. I knew you said boys. Yeah. That would be a B-O-I. With an I. Yes. yes. Buckle yourselves in, boys, and anyone who doesn't identify as a boy. Um, we is going to be a bumpy one, because we've got some stuff to announce. We do. So this morning is like an announcement cup of goodness. Although we're going to talk about good stuff first, well, and, and hijack it halfway through. True. You see, me and Drayton were talking about this. Um, Drayton was asking what, um, what like got us doing this, and then I realised that we've gone very far away from <laughs> from why we originally started this. We were here to talk about good things. Yeah, in the world. The idea was uh, Russell Howard's good news. We were gonna and the reality is, uh, it has become or however you uh, U, U N H H H H H because this is our show. H. I'm not yours. We've turned from Russell Howard into Trixie Mattel and Katia. Who's who? Uh oh. I feel like I'm Katia, and you're Trixie. Because you're you're the fashionable, you're the fancy one, and I'm just the weirdo. Thank you. <laughs> Your glasses are spectacular, by the they, way. They are. I thought I would a mention spectacle. it. Spectacle. I thought I'd mention it before anyone else did. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I've got another pair as well. I say mine. I mean, you say mine. Yeah. These are the ones I actually bought for you. Yeah. Um, my ones are. They are amazing, um, but oh, are horrible to look out of. Horrendous. They don't do anything for like this. Yeah, this amount yeah, makes everything look rose tinted, so that's quite nice. Your ones are easier to see um, out of than these ones because these ones are solid black. These ones are easy to see out of because I can see my peripherals in regular vision, and I can kind of make up the rest of what I'm seeing. But those ones are kind of like sunglasses, but they're just, they're like looking through sunglasses that someone else is wearing. You know how glasses are usually one way? Like you can, if they're like mirrored glasses on one side. Glasses are not usually one way. <laughs> but yes, I know exactly what you mean. They are a bit. Yeah. But also the fact that they're quite, they're quite small, so they sit quite a high on my ear mm. they're actually quite comfortable on the bridge of my nose I just have to I can't do with they, these what I do with every other pair and I can't ever put them on my no because you will destroy them on my head I can't put them upwards because mm. these little nose doodads will get lost in my hair forever Yeah, along will. with about seven other pairs of whatever these little plasticky Nose, uh, nose protectors are called. Yeah. Yeah, you need like a decoy pair of sunglasses to put into your hair. But yeah, these these ones are. Thing is, you have to kind of wear them right on the end of your nose because otherwise, 
They look ridiculous. I wear, am I wearing them on the end of my nose? They, they look stupid. Tell. Yeah, if I wear them like close in, they're just too high up. Like no, they're. I'm not looking underneath. I'm not. Purveying that's not very really useful. But yeah, there you go. So this has been. So this my... has been our week. No, I was I was a bit upset yesterday. I had a I had a second sense of humour failure. Um. And past Andy, like, came through like a trooper and went, don't worry, I bought you some sunglasses. Look at these <laughs> ludicrous sunglasses. So, yeah, that happened. Yeah. Um, but, yes, as I was saying, um, good news. We've not presented a single piece of good news on this show. Um, not for want of trying. Like, I have looked. Extreme doubt. Everything is pretty bleak at the moment. Everything's quite bleak. However, sorry. Okay. We have been uplifting and positive and a ray of sunshine in this time, so yeah. we are the good news. That's very you noticed. Right? What are you going to talk about today, Nicky? Um, well, I was going to mention the fact that our week has been absolutely devoid of D&D. It has. Today we... is going to be the day uh, that I go to Vampire. And I'm, I'm so excited. I spent my first piece of XP. You did, yes. Last night with rats. Ever you've had like twenty games. Yeah, we've had no, we've had. It's. I had twenty six XP. So. So is that a lot? I don't know. It's enough. <laughs> Does that give you like? Can you get something new with that? Yeah. Can you like I level did. up a little couple things? I did. I leveled up two things. Wow. Well, I went and retrospectively bought some stuff. Not retrospectively. Not like I've already used that power. But I, I didn't stat Arthur very well in the right. beginning. There are things that you would like to and have there was, used. There was something that I was going to go for and I misread it. I didn't understand. No. Um, and now it's going to take a lot of XP to get. So I've sat off that idea for now um, yeah. we'll, we'll pick it up eventually <laughs> I mean I don't know I don't rate Arthur's chances and I, I bought I bought um, the next rung of the thing that yeah. I like so cool. and I think after the next game I might get some I might get something else as well oh it's going to mm. be a massive XP drop and then I'm going to need XP for something inevitably yeah Cool. I'm so excited about tonight. I'm so Good. excited. <laughs> I'm so excited about yesterday evening. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's it's been a hard week. It's been hard um, going this week. I don't know if you want to talk about why we didn't have no D and D. No, I no. don't. Oh, we can talk about the. Wednesday game. Bad things happened. Didn't have some D and D. Yeah, Wednesday. One of the guys has now had to drop out because yeah. he's got a new job, which is fair enough. That happens. Rip. Um, Liam is no longer with us uh, for D and D, which yeah. um, has made me quite sad. However, sad. we'll get him to come laughing eventually. Still. Uh, yeah, eventually. I when think. it's back on. I'm really sort of like banking on 2021 being like the hard reset of everything. Yeah. Really. And if it's not... I think it's going to be such a culture shock, like going back to... Not normal, because we're not going back to normal, but going back to structure. Uh, yeah, being able to do things off the cuff being able to meet people, actually being sociable again. It's going to be odd for a lot of people. Um, I think a lot of people are going to... I mean, I don't know about you, but I get I get quite socialed, you know? And, like, I, I suddenly I sort of like go yeah. from being okay to being like, I don't want to talk, and then just not talking. And, although, when I do get there, I'm generally pretty happy to sit and, and listen. Yeah, I think it depends. 
I think it depends on who you are, because like you're depending on your uh, like level of closeness. Like I can sit on Discord with James and Dennis, or with like the Orcs, or with Steph and Alex, mm. or like our Star Wars group, and just like listen vibe. and just have people as company, and that you. does me. Then there's people, like, some of them as well, who I can, like, chat to for hours and hours and hours. And it can be really nice, and that doesn't take up any of my, like, my social spoons. Battery. Battery. Mm -hmm. But then there's other people that, like, you have, like, one, not anyone in particular, but, like, if there are people that you aren't, you know, there's, like, work colleagues or people that you're not as close with, they can take up more of your battery level quicker. Yes. And I think our batteries are are going to run out. Quite rapidly. Quite rapidly. Because we've been able to kind of only be around people that we know. we wanted to. But, saying that, we also haven't. You know, there's been weeks where time has just vanished and we haven't spoken to anyone. This, honestly, this week has been like that for me. I don't know about you, but I've yeah. just... I couldn't even say what I've done this week. Well, I can. I can say what I've been doing. I've been making a lead kit. <laughs> yeah, you've been making very good lead kit. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit worried that Benzel's um, tablet is a bit too thick. No, well, it's... I mean, like, it's a beefy, it's very... It's chunky, but it's... it's... chunky. You know when you get something that's, like, paper thin, and you think, oh, my word, this is... Well, ridiculous this isn't worth what i paid that, for it which if it was just the velvet back yeah. with the velvet i i think it would it would be too thin you've made something sturdy and robust i'm just it almost is borderline padded because it's a lot of layers of stuff so i don't know if i'm gonna have to go back and take out one of the layers from the inside because it's got like reinforcing in it I mean, it's we can't know until, until they try it on. Yeah, true. Um, um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's you know overall it's been okay. But we were talking to Tash last night. We did. We, we spoke, had a catch yeah. up with Tash, which was delightful. I've missed them very, 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 very much, and I really want to hang out with Tash. Um, Can I just because I know this is sorry. I know this is. I know what this is going to lead into, and I don't want to like. I don't want to stop your flow when you get there. Right, but you just did. But I just did. Can yeah. I say one thing about? Of course you can. So, if you are in that place where you're like not speaking to people for like weeks and weeks and weeks, that is normal. I would say in this situation, like if you can't cope with people, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a difference between not being able to cope with people and being introverted yeah. and being like deliberately isolating yourself. I know that when I get low, I I isolate myself and I don't yeah. even realise that I'm actually doing it until it's kind of too late. What, what I was... Uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> until I'm crying on the bathroom floor at three in yeah. the morning. <laughs> because no one's spoken to me in a month. <laughs> yeah. What I was going to say is if you're, uh, unlike us, if you're inclined to like start conversations with people and be like un unintroverted, like check up on your mates. Extroverted. Like if someone hasn't, if you've not spoken to your mates in a long time, it might be because they haven't been able to or they've like not been coping or they've just been you know times just disappeared from them like mm. give people True. a poke especially if you know friends that are um i don't want to say reclusive because that sounds like a that's like a bit of a derogatory word but like if you've got mates you know that hide away sometimes like reach out to them give them a little give them a give them a little give them a little wave if nothing Poke else, with a feather duster. they'll probably appreciate it, even if they don't reply. You yeah. Know, immediately. If they've not got the spoons to reply, the fact that you're there, giving them a little wave, 
we'll probably do all the other fish. Yes. Definitely. Sorry, so you were talking to Tash. I was talking, we were talking we to were Tash. We were talking to Tash. We had a little catch up with Tash, and that was delightful. Um, I miss Tash very much. I'm just going to say everything that I said before. I miss Tash a lot, and I would like to hang out with Tash. I, I'm very much of the, like, okay, lockdown. I want to hang out with my friends now. Thank you. Um, but I really, really miss Tash. Um, yes. And Tash, we were talking to Tash, and we had an amazing idea. Yeah, we had an epiphany. Tash was looking for advent calendars. And we realised we have not bought an advent calendar. So we were going to buy an advent calendar. And then we had a better idea, which was... Why don't we make a video advent calendar? We're going to do our own. We are going to do our own. So... I don't know the best time to film and make the video. I assume the day before. I think we're going to have to be clever about it because, in theory, we now need to make forty-eight videos. Yeah, but they're only going to be—they're going to be short little videos of us making something and putting it into one of these boxes. Ta-da! So. We are, as you might have noticed, uh, we've basically only been doing Cup of Goodness for like the last months. And we haven't really done any LARP content. No. Because there hasn't been any to do. It's um, been very difficult. Sammy's done stuff and it's been super successful yeah. and it proves that people want that. We've just not been able to. However, because we make stuff, we are going to do a daily... Uh, tutorial slash small builds um, and we're going to make something LARP related every day for Advent in each box I'm going to do uh, an explorer's kit yep, and I'm going to do a sort of scholar diplomat kit yep. inspired by the explorer packs and stuff that you get in D&D. &D. Yeah. Um, and they're basically going to be full of little LARP props for people to play with. They're going to be relatively generic. They're not going to be Empire specific. No, they yeah. Um, so that everyone, whoever, yeah, basically so that we can give them away to someone at the end of the month. Yeah. So what it, it, what it is, is it's, we're going to do an advent calendar that you can all watch and hopefully there'll be like 10 minute videos each. We're going to do one each, so you can follow either me making an Explorer's Pack or Andy making a Scholar's Pack, yep. or both, but I know you know not everyone's got hours and hours of time to watch stuff, so you can do both. There'll be, uh, there'll be one or two joint videos where we like team up and make paper, yep. and do... I mean, do you want to read some off more what is going to be things? in uh, I, I think you should plan. read off some... But what I'll just say, just so we get the intro out of the way, is these are going to be presents by the end of it. We're going to give them away. Um, it'll sort of be a competition, but not. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to ask anyone who wants in to email us a picture of some kit they've made for LARP any time this year like over lockdown, that they're really proud of. Yep. And from that, we'll basically pick at random to people to win. And, and uh, in the email, if you put in which one you would prefer, yep. um, if you want either, then you've got to send us two pictures in and, two separate emails. And you have to write hashtag Team Matt or, or team hashtag Andy. Team Andy. For whichever box you wish. Yeah, there'll be... And we'll feature your pictures and stuff in like a sort of slideshow, video, reel thing, probably. Yeah, they'll, I'll do a proper poster that Sammy will advertise and all the information will be out there. Um, but, yeah, they'll be starting on Tuesday because that's the first. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a day decorating the boxes. Yep. It's going to be 
vaguely based on like showing you how to do the same stuff. Um, you know, these boxes we got, I think I got them in a sale, they were like a quid each from a, a box website. An entire pound. And um, they're really... I mean, they do also look like they've gone mouldy. They do. But they haven't. They they're just... nice little boxes, but we're going to show you how you could jazz up a box yourself. Yeah. And then... Entirely. Do you want to sort of say what kind yeah. of things we're yeah, going to put yeah, in yeah. them? Yes, I'm absolutely going to do that. So, um, which box do you want to do first? Uh, I don't think we should mention everything. But just just mention the highlights. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, oh, well, I've sneezed on it now, so I'm going to get a new box. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to do some, like... Basically, all of my stuff is going to be based around some form of writing so there's going to be like a quill carving tutorial um because i've done that before in the past i long ago when it was warm um i found some some oak gourds on our way to work and i've got those sitting in the corner ready and waiting to be made into medieval ink and like i'll i'll bottle that up in the video um i'm going to do some carving wax seal stamps yeah um tash found me a recipe for making sealing wax so i guess i'll do that too and i've got that so that's all you're gonna get that's all right uh, um, but it's gonna be stuff along that line and there's gonna be some extra long bonus videos not bonus videos but like some of the videos are gonna be over a couple of days yeah like matt said the paper one we're gonna make some paper for you um because that's again that's something that i have the stuff to do. Yeah. Um, it's all... But we can show you how to do the stuff to get the stuff to do the stuff. It's all based on, like, simple projects. Like, this isn't stuff that is, like, super difficult to do. It's not stuff that we're going to do and then you're going to be like, what on earth materials did Matt just use? I don't have that lying around. Yeah. Um, it's going to be stuff that you can follow along and make if you want as well, which I think would be really nice. Yeah, And absolutely. it'll be stuff you can look back at. And, oh, look, there's a 10-minute tutorial on making a money pouch, which is one of the things I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to have some mana potions and some health potions mm -hmm. that I'm going to do a little bit of, like, pouring coloured resin in stuff. Um, I'm going to show you how to jazz up stationery. So it can look a bit more in character yep. than regular modern stuff. Um, we're going to do a little bit of soap making. That would be cool because explorers who are out in the wilderness uh, don't usually have access to washing facilities. And quite honestly, the more soap for the live action role players, the better. Yeah, and uh, and we're going to finish not off. Not going to encourage people to wash. Wash. <laughs> And we're going to finish off with making some dice, which would be quite cool. You've actually already sculpted those, haven't you? I have. So that, I do tell a lie, that is a specifically, like, that's a, I'm going to sound really arrogant now, that's mm. a my level project, because it's like the resin casts I do. Mm. But... But you can teach people how yeah, to do Yeah, I can stuff. show you how to do it. Are you going to do the mould making? Because um, that's something that people could really probably use. I'm probably not going to do the mould making oh. because of how long it takes. You know, that, that would be time. about a week's worth of episodes. Uh, no, it wouldn't. Um, you just... Okay. But it will be the plan is I'm going to have an email that we're going to get people to send the pictures to, your submissions. We're then going to pick someone at random on the 26th, 27th, maybe. You know, we'll have Christmas off. Yeah, please. <laughs> um, and then, so people can still put in, you know, if, if they've made presents for people and they want to show them off, mm -hmm. you can show them off on Christmas Day or Boxing Day and that can be your submission, you know. I don't want to, I want to give people as much time as possible. Submissions and Boxing Day. Boxing Day. So Midnight on Boxing Day. Midnight Boxing Day. As in, as in going like, over to the uh, next day. Yeah, as in the next minute would be the 27th. Um, and then, because it's bank holiday, we'll then have a day to pick who we want to win. And then hopefully on the 29th, all going good, we'll post the two boxes out to their um, their wonderful new winners, owners. 
and they'll have cool boxes full of nice stuff and I, we'll have a bunch of tutorials. I mean, I, I love this idea. I think this is le banging. Yeah, so... I mean, me and Steve speculated about doing some little kit streams. Mm. Um, I mean, I, there isn't any actual soft kit in any of these. Well, I, I'm going to make a little bit of leather stuff, but simple, but we could, simple bits. What I was going to say is we could always have guest stars. Oh, I want Sammy like, to come in on one episode. Like and we can example, like, do Sammy. some finger painting with him. Yeah, he can, he can, he can make him feel good about himself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I'd like to do that. I'd just, I'd love it. It'd be really cool. Yeah. So what oh, we gosh. what we in, endeavour to do is we're going to share some Christmas cheer, share some LARP making, going to share what we do best. Have a little cup uh, of... Have a cup of... Christmassy goodness. Yeah. Have pour yourself a vanilla chai. I'm covering up my Christmas Yeah, your Christmas... Your... It's November! Why did you make me wrap it? Because it's 2020, right? I've been wearing a Christmas jumper all year round because it makes me happy. You don't own any other jumpers. I don't. Doesn't matter. I'm not sure you own any other clothes. Wear whatever you like. like. <laughs> so yes, this has mainly been a, uh, a promo for what's coming up next, but... I've been doing some drawing. You so have been doing I'm some drawing. Gonna, I'm not going to show it because they're going to be Christmas presents for the Rampart okay. group. But I've been doing some drawing. Cool. Just to talk about something else. Yeah. So it's not just entirely a promo for the Advent Calendar video things. That's fine. I but I just like the idea of everybody tuning in on the morning and being like, oh, what's behind door number two? They are... Sorry. They are going to be morning uploads, probably like nine o'clock in the morning, so that you've got the whole day to watch it. Mm. I thought about doing evening uploads, but then you're almost kind of a day behind. Um, True enough. So, yeah, make sure to... Because Cup of Goodness is like... Yeah. We've got a smaller following. Um, make sure you share this around so people can see and have a chance to win some cool stuff. Because that would be really nice. I do actually have a really, really good little thing to end on as well. Yeah, good. One of my relatives, Claire, has beaten breast cancer. Hooray! Yes. That's really, really good. I know. I'm like... I read the message this morning and I was like, Oh, I'm gonna cry! Because I cry at everything. But seriously, it's really cool. And I'm, I'm very happy. It was also uh, my mum's birthday yesterday from when this is being released. Happy birthday, mum! Happy birthday! Um, yeah. Happy birthday, Wave! <laughs> <laughs> so yes, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for sitting down and listening to us chat for a while. Yeah. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of the weekend or the week, depending on when you're watching this. And we look forward to sharing with you an insane amount of content in the next coming weeks. Yeah, it's it's going to be a slog. I'm hoping it's not going to be... I'm really a, excited. I'm really excited now. <laughs> I'm really excited right now. But I'm... I don't want to... I don't want to F it up. No, it's going to be good. Right, do you want to end? Yes. This has been us. I hope you are going to have a great day. And um, I have a great day. I'm going to have a great day. Because I'm going to make it a great day. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.